Okay. Do you like Hitler? I don't like anybody. I've never met him, so I can't tell you. But in terms of his philosophy, his disposition. He wasn't a Muslim, so I don't agree with him. He wasn't a Muslim, no, but he, he had, Muslim. you know, you know, you know, Muhammad, Muhammad, Hitler, two men, yes. but same mission. Did you know this? What, what's their mission? Well, both of them wanted to wipe out the Jews. Both of them considered the Jews to be their worst enemies. Jews, in the case of Muhammad, it was worse than that because for him, it wasn't just the Jews. He hated Christians also and all sorts of other people. So he's much worse than Hitler. Did you know this? <coughs> no, no. Hitler and Prophet are not the same. Did Hitler get divine revelation from someone? Irrelevant. My point is, in relation, would you like to commit genocide in terms of the entire nation of Israel? Would you be happy with that idea? There's no genocide. No. Oh, have, you, have you ever read the Quran? Oh, you mean genocide from Israel to Palestine? Have you ever read the Quran? Yeah, I have. Yeah, what does the Quran say about the Jews? So I can't quote it, but... I'll tell you, I'll tell you a few yeah, things that the Quran says about the Jews yeah, and Christians. Yeah. Uh, Jews and Christians are worst of creatures. What, what worst of... Uh, and I can show you in a little bit, yeah? Jews and Christians are worst of creatures. Jews don't deserve to own properties. I can show you if you want. Please come. Let's let's read Surah 59. Can, can we please read Surah 59, Ayah 2? I can't read. Can you read it, please? Okay. Uh, 59, Ayah 2. Surah 59, Ayah 2. He it is who has caused those of the people of the Scripture who disbelieved to go out from their homes to their first exile. You did not think that they would go out, but while they thought that their strongholds would protect them from Allah, but Allah reached them from a place of which they reckon not and cast terror in their hearts, so that they ruined their houses with their own hands and the hands of the believers. So learn a lesson, you who have eyes. Yeah. So you see, people of scripture, do you know who people of scripture are? Of course, of course, Christians and Jews. But Christians they and Jews. Are, they're, just let, they're just saying what happened. No, no, let's I'm read. Just what happened. Yeah, let, let, yeah, so clearly, let's, let's read. You know what the criminality of the people of the scripture here is? Yes. It's here in the verse. For not believing in God. Who disbelieved. Yeah, so Islamic Allah, they rejected. Yeah. I would reject the Islamic Allah even today. Even if you were to present the Islamic Allah to me a million times, I would still reject, and so would any sensible Jew. Any sen Jew? I am a Christian. Any Jew who is worth the salt would reject the Islamic Allah, without a shadow of a doubt, would reject the Islamic Allah. And therefore, what does the Islamic Allah think about them? So disbelief is their criminality. What does he think about them? Allah reached them from a place of which they reckon not and cast terror in their hearts. Yes, Cast yeah. terror in their hearts. Terror in their hearts because they know it's would true. You, would they, you? they know Islam is true. So they're saying, oh no, I got exposed. God caught me. What can I do? Saying terror in their hearts. Yeah, let's read. I can't read. Disbelieve to go out from their homes to the first exile. Metaphor, metaphor. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Don't make things up as you go along. Okay. Have you ever read this chapter? I'm blind. What is it? If, if you haven't read this chapter, please read it again, but don't please make things up as you go along. Would you ever want to, would you, uh, now, today you're a Muslim, yeah? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. If I, as a Christian, ever told anyone, hey, look, the, this guy hasn't become a Christian yet, let's chase him away from his home, would you like that idea? No, no, that's not what happened, but. What? Let's read again. He it is who has caused those of the people of the scripture who disbelieved, to go out from their homes to the first exile. To, if, you, if you were to leave the home and to go on an exile, what is that? To be honest, I'm, I'm not very educated on this. I'll read this. No, book. no, you understand English right now. No, but this is divine revelation. It's not English. No, no, excuse me. What do you... Do you understand the word go out from their... Do you understand the expression go out from their homes? Yeah, but... It, you need a context behind this. No, no. Do you understand the expression go out from their homes? Of course. I came out of my home to come here. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Go out from their homes to the first exile. Did you ever exile? Did you have to exile from your house for any reason? No, not yet, but I want to. 
No, no. Okay. Where do you want to go? Uh, I want to go to Palestine. To Palestine and do what? I just want to live there. You just want to live. Okay, that's fine. So in this case, in this case, the Jews and the Christians were made to go on an exile, not willingly, but because they were they rejected Islam. If you reject Christianity, would you like people to chase away from your home? No. But this is what the Islamic Allah does. Why is he worse than you? We need, I, I need context behind this. I'm going to uh, read about it and I'll talk well, to what you. Exactly, what exactly I've got was unclear? I've got a question for you. No, no, no. I, I need to finish this and then you can ask the question. No, no, no. Would you like to go on an exile just because you rejected Christianity? Would you like people to chase you away from your home? Let me just ask you just because you rejected Christianity. You Please, you need to answer this okay. and, then, right. and then we'll deal with your question. All right, I'll, answer, I'll, I'll give you a counter question. No, no, no. Please, please face, face this question. <laughs> And then I'll know whether you're a sincere man and then you can go on to ask your question. My question was simple. Would you like people to chase you away from your home just because you have rejected Christianity? Yeah. I just would, you say, like, would you like that to happen to you? I just want to say... No, no, no. Please focus on this. Would you like for that to happen to you? I just want to say you have a beautiful wife and child over here. Excuse me. Please focus on the question. You. They're please focus on the question. I think you should like hang out with your family like over there. No, no. Please have focus nice, on the question at time. Nice if you are ashamed of Muhammad, please, nice please say that openly. Have are you ashamed of Muhammad? Family. I've got a beautiful family. Are you ashamed of Muhammad? Um, I'm definitely not ashamed. Yeah. So what? what so you would never? Would you? Would you ever do this? Chase people away from their homes and would? And then the Islamic Allah goes on to say yeah. that he cast terror in their hearts. It depends what they done to me. Did they? Did they? They harm disbelieved. Me? Uh, did they harm me? They disbelieved. Or did they try to persecute me? Excuse me. Please listen. This precisely lays out the criminality, the accusation. They disbelieved. Okay. The Jews and the Christians rejected Islam. You would you? Would you? Do you accept Christianity? You Islamic history, yeah. Do you, you accept of, Christianity? Have you seen Islamic history? No. You need to focus right now and not wander away. What? Was excuse me, you need to. I'm, I'm standing here. Please, no. Wa, 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 wa. Excuse me. Benthia. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please. Was there something called excuse a me. Excuse, no, no. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused right now. We are talking about. Hey, look, let, let me let me repeat this to you. It's a very related point. Muhammad and Hitler, two men, the same mission. Muhammad and Hitler, two men, the same mission. The only difference, you know what the only difference between Muhammad and Hitler are? Do you know the only difference between Muhammad and Hitler? Yeah, I know Hamim. Muhammad is much worse than Hitler. That's the only difference. Why, why, why? Well, <laughs> Hitler, Hitler, Hitler idea. killed a few millions and he hated, he didn't, he didn't at least claim to hate the Christians. Jesus come back and kill all the Excuse me, my young friends, we are focused on a very serious point. This is life and death for, a, for several million people, several billion people. So stay focused. Would you, are you a Muslim, sir? I, I, did you not remember? I've been with you for half an hour. I didn't see you. Are you a Muslim, sir? You don't pay attention to it. So you don't care what I say? You it's fine. Are you a Muslim right now? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, cool. And so you have rejected Christianity? Yeah, the laws of Christianity. I, I now, given that you have rejected Christianity, would you like... Would you like... No, no, no. Stay focused. Don't panic, don't panic. Given that... Given that you have rejected Christianity, would you like the Christians... You didn't lose some weight, bro. Given that, given. Always problems. Always problems. Anywhere. No, no, no. Don't. Excuse me. Peace, 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 peace. Oh, sorry, sir. Peace, peace. Or oh, the youngsters have run away. They have taken the opportunity to run away.